Mr. Boring. Okay, I give it a modified uh, recommendation. You certainly don't. Okay? No, I give Let's it a go real strong no. Let's get on to the next Few one. Few things are more satisfying <laughs> to film critics than disagreeing like we just did, and also in <laughs> spotting not heavily publicized films that turn out to be real jewels, and I think we found one. It's called The Silent Partner, a Canadian bank robbery picture in which Elliot Gould plays a bank employee who uncovers a bank robbery scheme a couple of days before the heist is pulled. Gould decides that he'll steal some money himself at the same time as the robbery, blame it on the thief, no one will be the wiser. It all works okay except for one thing, the thief, Christopher Plummer, really gets ticked off because Gould didn't give him all the bank's money. So the movie then becomes really about Christopher Plummer's attempt to steal the money from Gould that Gould stole from the bank. And so Plummer tells Gould he wants the dough in a phone call to Gould's apartment. If you have something to say to me, say it. Otherwise, I'm hanging up. Oh, no, don't hang up now, pal. I'm running low on dimes, and I just have to come up there. That's all, and I don't want to do that. Not yet. Now, first, we're going to try to talk things over reasonably. All right? Now, come over to the window. Kind of remarkable, you know that. I, I don't know how you managed to pull it off. Well, I guess you're going to have to tell me one of these days. <laughs> but we uh, we worked it together, didn't we? Uh, I mean, we we ran the same risks, didn't we? We're uh, we're partners. I'm going to call the police. Uh, what are you going to tell them? Besides, you see this. <laughs> Nice level of tension there with Elliot Gould's best performance in a number of pictures. Well, Silent Partner is a brutal, R-rated, but always very stylish battle between these two men. The Silent Partner was not made by a major studio. It's a film that may only pop into your town for a couple of weeks. You'll have to move fast to see it, but I think it's definitely worth it. This is one of the freshest bank robbery pictures I've seen in a long time. I'm really in agreement with you. Basically, if you want to see a good bank robbery picture, this is the picture you're looking for. It has what you want in that kind of a picture. It has a great good guy and a great bad guy. Neither one is boring or one-dimensional. It has a neat way they get the money. It has a love affair that's romantic and poignant and kinky, whatever you want. And at the end, it's got a really unprepared for twist. I mean, what happens in the last 10 minutes of the movie is mm -hmm. delicious. So I enjoyed it. I don't know why it's been neglected. Well, what happened, I think, is that the film company that had the picture, it did not do so well in box offices in the first couple of cities that mm -hmm. it played in. So they think, well, the whole country won't like it. Well, this part of the country likes it. <laughs> it's being responded to by critics all over the country, I think. This is a film for people to see. If they get behind it, if you support it, it can play for a long time, I think, in any city in the country. Okay, now how you're going to know it is it's called Silent Partner. <laughs> it stars Elliot Gould, and the ad is going to be very small and says for one week only. But <laughs> go to see it, right? Yeah, you can another, make it more. Another kind of a genre picture, bank robbery pictures, you get about four a year. We also seem to get about four vampire pictures a year. And last summer, we had two big hits starring Dracula. We had George Hamilton, who made Love at First Bite, and we had Frank Langella, who played the Prince of Darkness in Dracula. But now comes fall, dying leaves, longer nights, <laughs> and from Germany, Werner Herzog's new film, Nosferatu the Vampire, which is one of the most stylish and sympathetic versions of Dracula that I think I've ever seen.